Hi, and welcome to this Odoo lesson. One of the most common uses of barcodes is to identify and list products with point of sale. Imagine you have a large retail store and have to encode everything by hand on a keyboard instead of using barcodes. It would be scandalous. And yet, that's what we had to do for a long time. Now that my company, Stealthy Wood, has received new barcode scanners, I can add barcodes to all of my existing products so that we can scan them in our showroom. I also carry a new product, a wooden toy, that I will add to my list of products right now. So let's check that out. All right, so once we're on our database, let's go ahead and jump into our point of sale application. And then we're gonna create that product uh, for my wooden toy. Okay, so let's go to product, products, and create. The wooden toy is a zebra. I'm first gonna add the photo for this product. Okay, super simple. It's a storable product. I'm going to sell it for 18 euros. All right, and it costs 12. And now I'm gonna add my barcode. So what I can do here is simply scan the barcode that I already have printed for this item. All right, so it's here. I'm gonna take my barcode, scan, and there, it's entered in the system just like that, super fast. This is really great because it can eliminate some human error. Um, and also, especially if your names are really long and complicated and you have multiple to add to your system, it can save you a lot of time. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. But before we do, I'm first going to check the sales tab to be sure that I have this available in my point of sale. All right, of course, since I created this product from the point of sale application, this will be checked automatically. Um, but I just wanted to um, be certain that that is active. So let's go ahead and save this. And then let's go into our point of sale session. So um, let's imagine we're actually in the shop selling to a customer and create an order. Okay, so let's go to our dashboard. And then we'll go to our shop, enter the session that is already ongoing. Okay, let's remove, uh, let's create a new order actually. So I have one open for this item horse, but I'm gonna create a new one. Okay, so instead of searching for the product um, by searching the list here or even from the search bar, I'm simply going to scan the barcode. All right, so I have my barcode once again, scan. And there's the item. All right, so it's super easy, super convenient. This will save you a lot of time when you're face-to-face -face with the customers. Instead of searching for each product, you simply scan and go. Really convenient. All right, something else we can do, though. Let's close this. All right, if we need to um, add many barcodes in the system at one time, there is a very quick way of doing that without going from product template to product template. All right, so we'll go to our inventory application. And then we're going to go to configuration settings. All right, of course, if we would like to use barcodes for our inventory, we do need to activate the option, which I've done here. And then I'm going to click on configure product barcodes. Now, once I click on this, I will have a list of all of my products and I can go ahead and enter the barcodes immediately. Super fast, super easy. So let's search for our zebra. Oops. We're avoiding that human error like I just did. All right. We're going to go to the product. And here I already have the barcode saved because I added it to the product template. But let's imagine that I didn't have anything set here. Take the barcode, scan, the field is populated. How easy is that? So it really saves a ton of time for my company, Stealthy Wood, and it will save time for your company as well. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.